Baka iniisip po ninyo, ano ba naman to si pastor? Ang in-expect namin ay word of cheer, comfort, assurance ang ipipreach niya kasi nga sa mga, sa mga nangyayari ngayon. Mga minamahal kong five case at sa mga nakikinig dyan, kung mahal kayo naming mga pastor niyo, mas mahal po kayo. ng ating Panginoong Diyos. Please open your Bibles to the book of 1 John, chapter 1, and verses 5 to 9. 1 John, chapter 1, verses 5 to 9. The word of the Lord says, This is the message we have heard from him and declare to you, God is light, in him there is no darkness at all. If we claim to have fellowship with him yet walk in darkness, We lie and do not live by the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, his Son, purifies us from all sin. Verse 8. If we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just, and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. This is the Kingdom Constitution. Please be seated. Good morning. Magandang umaga po sa lahat. Mayong buntag kaninyong tanan. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. And no matter what is happening in our world today, we can declare indeed that this is the day that the Lord has made. Therefore, we will rejoice and be glad in it. It is so exciting to realize that we can worship the Lord together in spite and despite of our situation. How I wish the gaya nung kanta po that I could see all your happy faces praising God in the heavenly places. Diyan po sa mga sarili-sarili nating mga tahanan. But we praise the Lord because we believe that we can worship the Lord anywhere, and especially in our context today. Sabi nga natin, Team Simbahay, Team Simbalay, right? Our home worship. So we praise the Lord for that. So greetings from down south, from General Santos City. Sa lahat po ng mga nakikinig ngayon at uh, sumasabay sa atin sa pagsamba throughout the Philippines and even po meron dyan sa Singapore sa Canada, sa US, sa Middle East, at kung saan-saan pa po na maaabot po ito ating live stream ngayon. So we praise the Lord for this time. Why don't we just bow our heads and commit this time to the Lord. Let us pray. Our loving Heavenly Father, our Almighty God, and our Savior King, we gather in your name today. Even though we might not be in one place, but it is so amazing to realize, Lord, that we are doing this for the King of Kings and Lord of Lords in each of our homes, in each of our places today. At nagpapasalamat po kami, Panginoon, sa opportunity na binigay niyo that no matter what is happening around us, your children, your kingdom people, your royal kingdom people are worshiping you today. And so, Father, I pray that through your Holy Spirit, reach out to each one's home today. I pray that in the power of your Holy Spirit, you will touch us anew, especially, Lord, as we will be listening to your powerful, mighty, mighty words. This we ask and pray with much thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Our present situation is the perfect time for us to re-evaluate our lives. Ito na po yung tamang panahon upang tingnan natin yung ating mga buhay-buhay. Let us re-examine what kind of lifestyle we have. Or better yet, let us allow God through His Holy Spirit 
to examine our hearts that he may convict us of anything and everything that is not aligned with what he expects of us according to what is written in his word. Matagal-tagal na rin po uh, tayong na uh, paalalahanan, di po ba, patungkol po sa align. Amen? <laughs> How I wish I could hear your amens. To align with what God, our King, has intended for us. Every start of every year, January in particular, yung ating theme, yung ating emphasis, is always about the call, the challenge, to align with His Word, this Kingdom Constitution. Alam niyo po kung ang ating mga buhay, our, meaning our mindset, our hearts, our attitudes, and even our outlook in life, ay hindi po naka-align sa will ni Lord. Again, ibig sabihin ng will niya is the definite plan niya sa atin na, na isulat po dyan sa kanyang uh, salita. No? Kung hindi po tayo naka-align sa will ni Lord, kung hindi po tayo namumuhay sa ayon sa kanyang salita, ay dapat po tayo ay magsisi. We need to repent. Repentance means to turn around. It is to realize and say, Oh, I am going the wrong way. I am going the wrong direction. Therefore, I need to make a U-turn. Repentance means a moral and spiritual act of getting right with God. Changing the direction in which the heart is inclined. A spiritual about face. 180 degrees. About face. Repentance is a change of mind that calls for a change of way or yung ating lifestyle. In other words, repentance is the change of one's mind or mindset. To think differently. To turn one's heart from sin and turn towards God. This is an act of the will. Itong repentance. Hindi po ito automatic. Na ibig sabihin ay nalaman natin na nagkasala tayo, automatic na magre-repent tayo. Hindi po. It is a decision to be made by that individual who made that sin. Kailangan pong gawin yon ng isang individual to repent. Hindi po pwede ibang tao mag-repent para sa atin o para sa kanya. It should be our own personal decision. And speaking about repentance, matagal na rin po natin itong binibigyan ng diin. Remember our dynamics of the kingdom-driven life? In the first step to living a life of righteousness which results to a genuine relationship with God and with our fellow men or others, our vertical and horizontal relationship, is repentance. Ulitin ko po yan. The first step of living a life of righteousness which results in a genuine relationship with God and with our fellow men starts with repentance. Yun po ang ating dynamics of a kingdom-driven life. But sad to say at times that we don't take it seriously. And God has been talking to us through His Word, but perhaps we fail to listen. The Holy Spirit has been convicting us, but perhaps we have been resisting. And you know what? The warning signs that is written in His Word, dito po sa kanyang salita, sa kingdom constitution, ay klarong klaro. God has been talking to us through His Word that perhaps we fail to listen. The Holy Spirit has been convicting us. But perhaps, as I've said, we have been resisting. And so, the warning signs that's been written from His Word have already been set up or put to place. Pero, dahil po sa ingay ng mundo, ay hindi naririnig ng mga tao yun. O kaya, hindi sila nakikinig. Either nabingi or nagbibingi-bingihan. Dalawa lang kasi yun. Now, let me... Uh, Uh, make this illustration. During Christmas time po, pag merong uh, Christmas sale or overnight sale, they call it sa mga malls. And if you are there, if you have experienced it, napakaraming tao. All the people are busy selecting things to buy. Nandun mga bata, ang iingay, takbo dito, takbo doon. Yung mga tindera, sigaw na sigaw kung ano yung mga kailangan ng mga customers. And also yung, hindi lang yan, but even yung loud music. Siguro yung kanta ni Jose Marichan. Kasi Christmas na eh. At, at, at the background you, you just imagine yourself in a situation napakagulo but what if suddenly like a video pwede mong pindutin nag freeze nag pause at syempre pag pinos mo nakamute biglang tahimik could you imagine that 
the Bible is very clear. Sa Matthew, sa Luke, Daniel, Revelation, and elsewhere sa Bible, sinabi po dyan that nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, wars and rumors of wars, famines, earthquakes, and other natural calamities, uh, persecutions, emerging of the false prophets and teachers, pestilence, plague, increase of wickedness, uh, disobedient children, turning away from the faith or backsliding. Yes po, nasa Bible lahat yan. Signs of the times of the second coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Siguro kasi sinabi na ng mga tao, ay doon lang naman yan sa isang lugar, malayo po sa amin. Di naman tayo, di naman natin ramdam. Jera, nasa Middle East lang yun. Famine, tagutom, hunger, nasa Africa lang naman yun, alayo. Yolanda, eh sa Visayas lang yun. Malakas na lindol, dito lang yun sa Mindanao. Pagputok ng taal, doon lang yun sa Luzon. Actually, when the news about COVID-19 broke out last year, uh, siguro mga between November or December, sinabi ng iba, ah, sa China lang naman yun. But what about now? Ibang usapan na ngayon na bawat isa sa atin ay ramdam na ramdam natin ang pangyayari. The world suddenly came to a halt in terms of the regular day-to-day -day activities ng mga tao. Just like that mall scenario during Christmas sale. Biglang napahinto. There was a freeze. Nag-mute. Pero ang masaklap. Hmm. Kung imagine ninyo parang doon sa mall, hindi lang nag-post, nag-mute. Kung hindi, nag-brown out pa. Sobrang dilim. Kung nandun kayo sa mall na yun, could you imagine? Ganyan po ang mundo natin ngayon. God has definitely been speaking. The signs were crystal clear noon pa. But still the world was busy doing their own thing. And now, finally, God is saying, enough. Stop. Freeze. Now God has our attention. I hope and pray na sa ilang linggo na nahinto yung ating mga buhay ay nakapag-isip-isip po tayo. I hope that we can truly say uh, in all honesty that yes Lord, naririnig ko na po, nakikinig or makikinig na po ako sa iyo Lord. And yes Lord, patawarin niyo po ako. Please forgive me for not seeking your kingdom and your righteousness first and foremost. Please forgive me, Lord, for every thought, word, or action that was not pleasing to you. Please forgive me, Lord, for not giving my tithes and my offerings honestly and the way I should. Please forgive me, Lord, for not attending regularly the Sunday worship namin at sa iba pa mga church-related ministries or activities. Please forgive me, Lord, for telling lies to my pastor, to my wife or husband, my boss, my friend, o kung kanino man. Please forgive me, Lord, for the way I treated my family. Please forgive me, Lord, for not reading your word every day and not spending more time in prayer. Please forgive me, Lord, for making alibis para hindi ako makasali sa fasting. Please forgive me, Lord, kung hindi ko po naibigay ang time, talent, treasures, or resources ko upang makapaglingkod sa inyo. Please forgive me, Lord, kung di ako naging magandang halimbawa dahil sa ugali ko, sa pagkikitungo ko sa iba, or kahit kasi dahil meron pa akong hmm, kaunting bisyo. And the list goes on and on and on and on. Baka iniisip po ninyo, ano ba naman to si Pastor? Ang in-expect namin ay word of cheer, comfort, assurance ang ipipreach niya kasi nga sa mga, sa mga nangyayari ngayon. Mga minamahal kong 5Ks at sa mga nakikinig dyan, kung mahal kayo namin mga pastor nyo, mas mahal po kayo. Nang ating Panginoong Diyos. Kaya ayaw na ayaw po niya na isaman lang sa atin ang maligaw sa maling landas. And as I have said a while ago, this is the time
to turn back to God. Magbalik loob sa Panginoon. For we can only find true hope, lasting peace, and real security if and when we have a right relationship with God. Meaning, we have settled whatever sin or sins we are guilty of before God. We have asked for forgiveness and resolved not to do it again and walk in the path of kingdom righteousness. My friends, yan po ang tunay na repentance. For the Bible says sa 1 John 1.8, If we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. However, sa verse 9 it says in God to say, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. The Lord is giving us a chance and an opportunity na makabalik o makapagbalik loob sa Kanya. Siguro naman ngayon ay na-realize natin ang lahat na kung anong meron tayo ngayon. The material things that we possess, hindi ko lang isa-isahin. All of these are temporary. At kahit po yung ating mga sariling buhay, temporary lang po yun. I believe marami po nakapag-isip o nat nat natanto yan ngayon. At ang lahat ng ito ay maging walang saysay kung wala si Jesus Christ sa buhay natin. That is why our Lord and Savior King Jesus is, in, is inviting everyone to come to Him. And now, as we will gather around the Lord's table to celebrate the Holy Communion, our Heavenly Father is still inviting us. Patuloy po ang invitation ng ating Panginoon. Dahil sabi niya nga, For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son. Kaya yung message na yun, patuloy po hanggang ngayon. Dahil tinatawag niya pa rin po ang kung sino man na lumapit, mananampalatay sa kanya, ay bigyan niya ng buhay na walang hanggan. And just like we gather, when we gather sa ating matahanan to eat a meal, ganun din po ang Lord's Table actually. No? Pag tinawag na tayo na ating tatay, o ating papa, ang saya. Pero kung ikaw ay may atraso, mag-aatubili ka, mag-aalangan ka, right? You will be hesitant to come kung alam mong meron kang atraso. At most especially, when you know that your father knows about it or is aware of what you have done. But my friends, tatay natin yun eh. All we have to do is come and ask for forgiveness so that we will enjoy the full blessing of the fellowship of having that communion with our Heavenly Father. So the invitation for us today is still the same. Jesus says, come. Come to me. Ask for forgiveness. Repent from your sins. That we may walk and live in righteousness. Hinihiling ko pang lahat sa kanilang mga kanyang mga tahanan do I just, just bow our heads, close our eyes, and for a moment, kalimutan muna natin kung ano yung mga nasa labas. Let us forget first kung ano yung mga kaguluhan sa labas. Just for this moment. And reflect upon the message of the Lord we had or He had for us today. My friends, our Father wants us to have that blessed relationship with Him. Yung wala pong makakahadlang. Wala pong kasalanan na pwede kumadlang. And sinabi niya kanina sa 1 John 1 that all we have to do is ask for forgiveness and confess before Him. And let, it, let us do it before it's too late. There will be a time na baka wala na po tayong chance or opportunity. Hindi natin alam kung ano mayayari bukas. Now is the right time to repent. Why don't we come to the presence of the Lord? The Lord knows our hearts. He can read our minds. He knows our situation. Come to Him. Repent and ask for forgiveness before our God, our Father.
our loving Heavenly Father, your word for us today is very clear and simple. All we have to do, Lord, to be able to have that relationship with you is to ask for forgiveness, to repent, to turn away from our sins and return to you. And Lord, narinig niyo po ang bawat dasal, panalangin, bawat confession po na ginawa ng inyong mga anak na yun. Father, I pray for your forgiveness. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive me. Forgive my family. Forgive our relatives. Lord, forgive BCFI. Forgive our country. And forgive our world. Lord, we believe that you are coming very, very soon. And though these things, Lord, that are happening are part of the judgment that you have for this world, pero alam namin, Lord, na umiiral pa rin ang inyong pag-ibig, dakilang pag-ibig, your great love for us. That is why, Lord, patuloy pa ang inyong salita namin naririnig, namin nararanasan. Because you are still calling people into your presence. So I pray, Lord, sa lahat na nakikinig ngayon, that you will take this opportunity na bumalik po sa inyo. And thank you, Lord, for those ones who have come in repentance. Based on your word, you have said you will forgive us if we confess our sins. Yes, Lord, because we want to have that great relationship with you. And Lord, kung meron man din po na hindi pa talaga nakatanggap sa inyo bilang Lord and Savior, I pray in the name of Jesus kung sino ka man na, na nakikinig ngayon, kung hindi ka pa uh, sure na kung ikaw ay mamamatay na ay mapupunta sa langit at alam mo sa iyong sarili ngayon na meron ka mga kasalanan kaya hindi ka makapagpunta kay Lord basta-basta lang dahil may atraso ka nga if you are that person this is the time for you to repent na nanawagan si Lord sa iyo turn away from your sins ask for forgiveness at kung ikaw man ang tao na yan pray this prayer with me Dear God, I have sinned before you. Marami po akong nagawang kasalanan at alam niyo po yun. At salamat po sa inyong salita at sa iyong dakilang pag-ibig na pinadala mo ang iyong kaisa-isang anak na si Jesus Christ para mamatay sa cross. Nang sa ganun, ako ay mapatawad sa aking mga kasalanan. Thank you for the forgiveness of sin through Jesus Christ's death on the cross. Ako po ngayon ay nagsisisi sa aking mga kasalanan at tinatanggap ko po si Jesus Christ as my Savior and Lord. And thank you po, Panginoon, dahil sa salvation na tinanggap ko na through Jesus Christ, ako po ay magkakaroon ng buhay na walang hanggan sa pagdating ng panahon. Jesus. Father, thank you for the forgiveness of sins. Thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross for us that we may enjoy that relationship with the Heavenly Father. And thank you, Lord, that because of that relationship, kahit ano pa mamangyari, alam namin, Lord, na kami ay secured na. Kami ay ligtas na. And even the midst of the situation, alam din po namin na dahil kami iyong mga anak, sinabi po na yung salita, you will never leave us nor forsake us. You will there for us in times of pestilence. You will be there for us in times of trouble and pain and sorrow. Your Holy Spirit will be there to guide us, to help us, to comfort us, to give us strength. Salamat po, Lord. Buksan po natin ang ating mga palad. Ganito po as our practice. As a gesture that we are saying, Yes, Lord, we are ready to receive your blessing. Ito pong pagpapala ng Panginoon galing sa kanyang salita na nagsasabi, Ang Diyos na pinagmumulan ng kapayapaan na siyang muling bumuhay sa ating Panginoong Yesus na naging dakilang pastol ng mga tupa dahil sa kanyang dugo 
ang nagpatibay sa ulang hanggang tipan naway ipagkaloob niya sa inyo ang lahat ng kailangan ninyo upang may sagawa ang kanyang kalooban at sa pamamagitan ni Yesu Kristo ay gawin niya sa atin ang nakalulugod sa kanya papurihan nawa si Kristo magpakailanman in the name of the Father and of His Son Jesus Christ and the Blessed Holy Spirit Amen and Amen